my dear children dear brother firoz and all sisters and brothers in india inclusion summit i am pleased to be with you virtually needless to say that how important is this summit for the betterment justice and equity in our country or anywhere in the world india is a home of almost 12 million children with disabilities or what we call the special ability kuch log kehte hain divyang whatever name we give but these are the children who need urgent attention and action from society and the state both there are reports which reveal that only 1% of children with disabilities have access to education and people like us who have been fighting in india and elsewhere in the world that the education should be inclusive education where all children whether they have some physical or mental problems and other children can sit together can study together and can grow together this is one of the most important thing which we have to attain in the society but equally important that how family and society treat our children those who need much more attention those who need much more adore and care and love but more importantly we have to keep in mind that they must have their dignity we should have some respect for for them as well so this is the social and cultural dimension of inclusion we have to have inclusive laws not only the education related legislations and programs and schemes but also in all laws we have to give equality and justice status for such children and that requires much more additional efforts through budgetary allocations and schemes and that that has to be there dear friends through such summits you are able to raise this voice which is much more needed we have come across many children whom we rescued from slavery and child labor and trafficking and they had some some problems physical or mental problems and sometimes we found that they were more badly treated than other children and sometimes they were badly treated by the peers in the workplaces so we have to ensure that child labor related laws have to be properly implemented we have also come across some incidents where some uh, some young girls and boys who faced some mental issues or some physical issues they were more vulnerable for rapes and uh, and child sexual abuses and that requires urgent attention and action to protect such children who are more vulnerable we also know that the covid-19 pandemic has exposed and exacerbated all kind of injustices and inequalities prevailing in our society in india and elsewhere in the world and therefore it is a serious danger that a large number of children may not come back to their classrooms as we know that globally over a billion children school going children are not in schools they are missing out of their schools and almost half of them have no access to online education almost 385 million children students primary and secondary students 
were highly depending on school feeding programs like midday meals and others globally. And they are facing serious issues. And when many of such children who are socially, economically, politically excluded, and in addition to it, those who were facing physical and mental disabilities, they have to be brought in the focus and they have to be given priority in any sort of rehabilitational programs. So, dear, fr dear friends, I wish that this should not remain only a summit, but it should be a social, cultural, political movement in our country. Everybody should feel that no child is left behind. Thousands of years ago, the Vedas, Rishis, Sages have given us a sermon, a message or a teaching, Sangachadvam, Samvadadvam, Sambo Manansi Janatam. That means, let us walk together. No one is left behind. No one is left out. We have to create a level playing ground where everybody can walk together. Everybody should have equal opportunities. That was the message given. Let us have a chance, an opportunity that everybody can speak out, everybody can talk and everybody listens each other's voice. And equally important is that all of us think together and act together. That togetherness, that inclusion is must in any sustainable and peaceful society, any just society. Finally, let me underline here one thing that some of our children, they are all our children in fact, if our children don't have eyesight, they definitely have bigger visions. If we give them care and respect, maybe no sight, but bigger vision to make the society a better place. They may not be having uh, fully functioning uh, legs or hands or other parts of the body sometimes, but their resolve is no less than anyone's resolve. And I have come across many examples that their resolve is much more deeper, much more strong than any other. And we have to respect that purity of their heart and their resolve. They should not feel vulnerable. They should not feel weaker. If one single child with disability feels abandoned, neglected, abused, weak, it is a curse on the entire society. We will make a better society by giving, by giving opportunity to every child because they are all our children. Thank you so much.